some of them are trying to build in the roof. So you can see in here, everyone's busy and gone out shopping, I guess, shopping for some honey. Did I squish you? I hope not. Would you like to have to fly? Fly away. done a great job at sticking everything. There's few on me, huh? Check that out. Just wondering what's going on. Who's this intruder? towards the queen. This one more. Hi, Queen. It's 
fuck the queen. You know, is the queen on you? You see the big lady in the middle? Mm -hmm. Zoom in on her. That's why everyone's protective over this frame. Especially when I got closer to this, they became really protective. Everyone's busy filling up all the holes and she's going to lay babies in there. Hi girls. Please don't hurt me. I get angry real quick, these ladies. If you look closely, you see them all standing there with their heads in the holes. That's because they're filling it up with nectar, pollen. Majority of these are all girls. There are no boys here. Girls on the top. There's a lot of fresh honey in there. Some big use for food as well. So they've cleaned this one up nicely and refilled it. this year. They haven't really worked on this cute little piece still. I'm not sure what's happening in that. This explains quite a lot, guys. 
it's been a little bit of water getting in and uh, hmm? what what's up oh ho that's what's up so you see there's a cockroach in there guys and that's why the bees haven't really built anything on this section because of the cockroach doing something but I definitely have to uh, get the cockroach out and then um, put a piece of banana in here so they do the banana trick So now that we have had a look in there, we figured out that there's a cockroach living in there and that's causing the last frame to not be active and a bit of mold issue from the rain because it's been constantly raining but nothing too serious to worry about right now. As far as I'm concerned, I'm going to put a banana chopped up in there and then I'm going to get a cockroach trap, keep it on the floor and or even on the roof and then we are going to put oil in the pest tray as well as we're going to place a trap this one here is a trap guys and this trap needs to be filled with oil and once you fill it with oil you can set it up This one here, I need to fill it up with some oil. Once you fill it up with oil, Simba. see how it goes place it like that so now any moth larvae or any cockroach or anything that can fall through the trap any mites they fall into the oil and the next inspection we clear it up so that's going to help reduce any pest issues the other option is obviously putting oil in the tray down there which we'll do as well once we give that a clean up and that's it now we need to cut up a banana and place it in there but i'm going to close the hive while i get that banana i have some mummies that's very common nothing to freak out about no tiny bugs no spiders, 
and some pollen that's I wish I could collect that to be honest but I'd love to figure out and learn how to properly collect pollen all right let's clean this and then uh, put it back with some oil in there got some potato being harvested as well while we do the hive so that's a good harvest for winter since we've got more potatoes growing in the boxes some at the back there so we definitely need more oil than this but the basic idea is to use oil so that the insects that fall in the oil they stay trapped I don't like to overdo it with oil, then it's going to be counter-effective. With the oil going moldy, that might not be ideal either. Banana. This will not calm down, dude. I'm just trying to let you go. This is a really young lady. You can see the coloring of her body. It's very light. She's still smaller. And yeah, it's really young one. This is Want to focus on it. Can you see a nice eyes? So that's it guys, we put the bananas in there and made sure nothing too serious happening. I'll be getting a cockroach trap, something to bait it, but so far I think the banana should make them go on to a cleaning frenzy. 
I'll come back in a few days and see how it's gone and uh, report back to you guys. Stay tuned.